Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today on the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. Today we're going head to head, wild turkey versus wild turkey. Russell's Reserve single barrel versus rare breed barrel proof rye. Both of these obviously are wild turkey products and I wanted to go head to head to see which one ultimately would come out on top and why. So what we'll do is we'll dive into a little bit of the, the nose on both and then go through the kind of the taste profile for each. And I'll kind of give you my thoughts on what each one offers, why, and maybe which one I prefer and why. So, all right, let's first start out with the Russell's Reserve single barrel. So for me, this has always been more along the lines of a rye drinker's rye. There's a little bit more of that pungent rye aspect that's there to it. Some nice baking spices, nice chocolate notes, nice mint on that as well. A little bit of like the caramels, the vanillas, uh, kind of noses more along the lines of like a high rye bourbon. But definitely the rye aspect is there. Nice oak presence to it as well. But it definitely lets you know that there's this rye bite to it. It's more along the lines of like what you'd get from like a rye bread with a slight amount of sweetness on the nose. All right, let's give this one a try and we'll see, uh, we'll see how the Russell shakes out. Cheers. So right away, similar to the nose, you up front get that hit of that bold rye spice right in your face. Again, the vanillas, the caramels, similar to a high rye bourbon. Nice chocolate note. Nice amount of mint on this one as well. Not overly minty, no dill, not picking up any dill in this. But again, for me, this drinks like somebody who would really enjoy a semi-sweet, but more of a, a pungent or a bold rye aspect to it. So you've got to like that rye influence. For me, this wouldn't be somebody I'd want to necessarily give to who isn't really into rye. I think the boldness of the rye on this would be just a little bit too dominant for the most part. So let's shift our uh, shift over to the rare breed rye. So again, both of these on their own, fantastic ryes. Uh, you can't go wrong with either, but in terms of head to head, let's see which one will come out on top. All right, so, so for me right away, this the nose on this is much more of that, again, that high rye uh, bourbon note, similar to this, but more of the, the bourbon aspect to it. Not as bold a, a rye, Definitely much more of a citrus note. There's that underlying mint, but much more of that like lemon citrus note. Uh, not quite as, I would say not quite as sweet. Still some nice bold like uh, fruits on that. Nice lingering baking spice. But for me, the dominant factor in this one specifically is a little bit of that twist of lemon that's there. You don't pick that up really at all in the Russells. Nice baking spice, nice amount of oak. Again, a little bit of, uh, of the, the chocolate twist on that as well. But definitely more lemon presence on that one. So, all right, let's go ahead and see how this one is going to uh, taste and stack up against the Russells. Cheers. So right away, your first thought is very citrus forward. Nice rye spice, nice sweetness, but definitely that lemon citrus makes itself known. Still, you got some of the underlying uh, vanillas, caramels, a little bit of that more of a milk chocolate. This is definitely on the sweeter side, definitely on the palate. Uh, is it more approachable to somebody who may be getting into rye? I don't know, the proof may be a little bit more dominant in this one, but 
again, I think the twist of that lemon aspect is, a, is something interesting. That's not always something you get very often on a, a rye whiskey, and it specifically shows up quite a bit in the rare breed rye. Yeah, this one I would say has a little bit more of the, the leathers, the tobaccos, more of that underlying kind of lemon citrus, nice mint notes to it. Again, no dill in either one of these for me. The vanillas, caramels. Yeah, again, that leather, the tobacco. Um, it's a little bit, it's, it's a nice blend of the sweetness and the complexity of a rye whiskey. Um, this for me, what I would say is it's taken away, I think the sweetness and the balance of the citrus have taken away a little bit of the bite that the Russells have. Now for me, like I mentioned before, I think the Russells drinks a little bit more along the lines of what a, a true rye drinker would prefer. There's still that sweetness that's there uh, for sure because of the, the low you know, amount of, of rye and the other 49% uh, grains in there still keep both of these drinking similar to a a high rye now the difference in both of these like i mentioned again the russell's a little bit more bold on the rye still some of those vanillas and caramels the chocolates just a little bit more intense and bold shifting over to the rare breed rye in terms of what i think this has to offer much more citrus specifically the lemon citrus more mint, a little bit of more of the sweet caramels and vanillas. So I think this drinks a little bit sweeter. Still the nice complexity. So don't get me wrong. I want you to, to understand that both of these are fantastic rise. And, and however each of these kind of shake out, they, they both have distinct profiles to them. For me, in terms of what I would prefer. Now... I like the boldness of the Russells, but I think for me, it's a little bit more one dimensional from the standpoint of, again, it leans a little bit more towards that rye drinkers rye. So if I'm sitting down to necessarily sip on a rye, I don't always want that pungent or bold rye aspect unless it's exactly what I want. Now for me, shifting over to the rare breed rye, for what this has to offer, I, I really enjoy this. Now, this would probably be my preference in terms of what I would like to sit down and, and sip on on a nightly, not necessarily nightly basis, but you know those days where you just want something that you know is going to be very tried and true, I think what the Russells, uh, or excuse me, what the Rare Breed has to offer fits my profile a little bit more. I like the citrus. I like the mint, I like the vanillas, the caramels, that chocolate note. Uh, I like the complexity of, of that as well. Definitely the sweetness, that nice kind of sweet oak presence to it as well. So both of these have their own place uh, for sure. Uh, for me, what would I prefer? Like I mentioned before, I think I would go with the Rare Breed uh, Barrel Proof Rye just because of what it has to offer in terms of its complexity and its balance. For me, the winner of today's battle would be the rare breed rye. So there you have it. I hope that helps a little bit in terms of a head to head and what each have to offer and kind of the comparison of both of these. So you know a little bit more about what to expect from these. If I've done individual reviews, I will have these linked above so you can pull out more of the or get a better idea of the full aspect of each one. But for me in today's head to head, I prefer the rare breed rye whiskey. There you have it. Thank you so much for tuning into another one of my reviews. Greatly appreciate it. Planning on doing a few more head to heads in terms of what each one have to offer. So stick with me on some of these. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places at my bourbon journey. If you'd like to uh, support the channel, uh, you can through my Patreon page, which I'll have linked in the description below. That also allows you to become part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club. With that being said, again, thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my reviews and new 
head-to-head -head series. And remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Mm -hmm.